all round the crew, we're back. Does not feel like six weeks ago since we were last doing the phase overview, but here we are. And before we know it, it will be uh, it'll be Christmas time, uh, and we'll be doing the next one. So. The name of this phase is Reap What You Sow. So basically, we're getting the rewards from all the work we've put up until this point, specifically in our absolute strength, so in our front squats and our back squats, uh, back, back squats more specifically. And then we'll, we'll also just bring in some heavy deadlifts towards the end and see how um, our deadlifts have gone uh, as well. But that is what the next um, 10 weeks, this phase is gonna be 10 weeks long, the next 10 weeks is gonna be focusing on. So in the weightlifting and strength, when we're specifically looking at our power lifts, um, and again more specifically our squats, we're going to be working on three week progressional rotations. So what I mean by that is, your squat sessions will be the same three weeks in a row. But the progression is going to be, we're just going to like make sure that you just hold back in the first week. The second week you learn from how the first week went and look to creep it up a little bit more and then the third week you've done two sessions of that same squat session and then you're going to go for it, go for broke and just maximise the most out of that session and then it will progress and rotate two more times in this 10 week phase. Okay, So we'll go through three, um, three, three week progressions on our squats. Really make sure though that, that first, the, uh, the first session so on week one and on week four, the first time you hit that new um, that new rep range is you're not emptying a tank, you're leaving a little bit in there, but you're still hitting the stimulus. That's important then, so then we can build on it for the following week. And then once we've built on it the following week, we should have a really good idea then of what we'll be able to hit in week three, okay? What we're going to be doing with the weightlifting side of things, whilst we're whilst we're on these three-week progressions on the strength work, is just starting to expo expose you um, up towards that ninety percent um, uh, that ninety percent range. Um, just getting waved at from outside. Uh, we're, we're getting exposed on that ninety percent range for snatch and clean and jerks, and we'll keep it in doubles, triples, so that it feels near max for that, that, um, that variation that we're going to be uh, working on. So for example, a snatch triple, a heavy snatch triple, you'll be in and around 90% of your, of your one RMs. And if it was like two cleans, one jerk, or a clean front squat jerk, it's not max max of a clean and jerk, but you're going to be up that high end, um, that high end percentage to hit a heavy set of that complex. So we're going to be start, you know, creeping up uh, the weights that you're hitting on your snatches and your clean jerks but by the time we get towards the end of this phase and we've really kind of sucked the most out of our absolute strength that's when we'll let you go more just kind of like you know just let things go snatch clean and jerk let's see if we can stick some pbs and hopefully a little bit of a, a festive um the festive feeder on that around that point will help fuel some extra uh some extra gains and maybe a little bit of extra body weight who knows um, so that's the kind of weightlifting and strength plan for this next phase and like I said just really put your, your effort into making sure that you don't get carried away on the first week of each three week progression and it's just an, the first week is just treated as exposure, exposure to the new rep range, um, you know there's different, there's different types in there top of my head but like rep one, so there's heavy set of five back squats, rep one has got a pause. Uh, and then four, sorry, four following reps for the for the five reps uh, will be regular. So at your first time, you might not be too sure, kind of like, oh, what weight will I be hitting? So just get an exposure to a heavy set, and then next time you hit that, you'll know kind of where you need to be at, what you feel like you could get. Test it a little bit on week two, week three, you're just going, you're just going for broke, like I said before. To um, play into making sure that our energy expenditure is going into our weightlifting and strength sessions and we're recovering well from them. We're going to drop one of our conditioning sessions per week and that's going to be the aerobic session on a Monday. Okay, so we're going into Monday fairly fresh and ready and we're going to make sure that that weightlifting and strength session that's going to start off our week 
uh, and the first part of that weight strength session is the, the is the squats. We want to make sure we're hitting that with as much as we've got. Okay, so we're dropping that one conditioning session, and that will come back into um, back in when we get after this phase post Christmas when we've got a little bit of timber we need to shift as well. Um, so yeah, conditioning is just more of the same. We're still going to be hitting some threshold work. We're still going to be hitting some aerobic. We're still going to be hitting some sprints. We're hitting all the different energy systems. Um, but we're just reducing the total volume of conditioning that we're doing. Gymnastics sessions, we're going to continue this volume accumulation phase with the interference sets, but you're going to experience more higher rep uh, sets. Um, so rather than maybe tens in, in chest to bar pull ups, you'll be pushing towards 15s. Or we're just trying to increase the amount of reps per set that you're doing and basically increase the time under tension of that specific exercise. Uh, each time. There's also quite a few sessions in there where um, we're coming around and we're repeating uh, that gymnastics exercise within that set. So we'll be hitting it relatively fresh, hitting it with some interference exercises and then hitting it again. So we're really just starting to kind of expose that, um, you know, that fatigue point. And what this is going to do um, over this, hey, I knew that was going to happen then. Over this, <clears throat> 10 week phase towards the end, going to be week nine, week 10, and then we'll probably leak it into week 11. We're really going to start retesting those five minute tests, um, the five minute kipping test. So we want to really make sure that we're, we're squeezing as much as we can out of these gymnast gymnastic sessions and really becoming aware of our pacing when we've got big rep sets to do. Okay, because that's what's going to help us um, attack our five minute tests. Um, with a bit, with, with, with an accurate pacing strategy, um, and get the the biggest score that we can, and we can use those tests then to, um, you know, to see how our training is going to go, decide our rep ranges for our lead into the season, the open and the quarterfinal. Um, so, as a breakdown, we've got weeks one to four. So this is going to lead into Christmas this phase. So we've adjusted the week slightly to make sure that when it gets to Christmas time, we're not trying to do our hardest week of training. You know when it's Boxing Day and like New Year's Eve and etc. So um, most people struggle a little bit getting into the gyms over the Christmas period. So we've worked back. Spelled deload, lovely there. Um, we've worked back. So Christmas week is a deload, and then we've got the four weeks prior to Christmas is four weeks of training, and then we've got a deload in week five, and then weeks one to four training as well. So four weeks training, deload, four weeks training, deload. Okay, and little bits of this phase because we don't just like like new phase, completely new training, will creep into the beginning of January, okay? It's more just kind of like it gradually contrasts across the phases. So parts of this, like some of the tests here in the gymnastics phase, will creep into the next phase, a bit like it has done um, in this one, where we're just finishing off that Wendell cycle uh, at the beginning of this phase. Again, we'll creep a little bit into the following phase, but the majority of the training will start taking that shift. When it hits January, this next phase, things are going to start getting a little bit more sport specific. Get that again. A little bit more sport specific, starting to replicate CrossFit a little bit more. So we're going to start taking out the interference sessions. Weightlifting, we're going to have a bit more of a, a mix in terms of mixing heavier barbell with gymnastics and conditioning exercises. Um, and, and generally working at our, uh, the, the content of the training uh, program. Off the, de off the demands of the sport rather than off uh, your, the, the weaknesses that you might have. Okay, so we're going to get more competition phase, more CrossFit Pacific when we get through this, um, this phase uh, and into the new year. Um, so that's everything. Uh, I didn't touch on Metcons here because it's pretty much the same. We have the same exposure to Metcons as the following, the, the previous phases. Wednesday, more of a uh, strategic uh, strategy, like more different focus points rather than the score and the outcome. Uh, and Saturday is the, is the one where we uh, chuck it down, whiteboard workout, super Saturday, get, get, in, a, get in a group of people um, and just go as fast as physically possible. Uh, so that's the same as previous phases as well. Um, Cool. Hope you enjoy it. I'm excited to see the progress that we have from the guy, from you guys, um, from this weightlifting and strength. 
really get the most out of that and that's what's going to carry us in with our good strength numbers into the following season so really try and uh, cash in on the gains or the grains uh, that was a bad joke I'm sorry cool enjoy